Hi everybody, so um, this is uh, Kizin and today what we will do is uh, simply uh, recreate uh, something really interesting which was suggested by a uh, Spio, a cobble. So lots of people don't know that you can uh, use Thor as a really 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 good uh, drum machine. Um, Okay, it won't do the same job as a real drummer, but you can have pretty convincing sound and pretty con pretty decent sound with uh, that synth. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me for this. Uh, as you can hear, I am a little bit sick because in Belgium, uh, when winter is coming, all the polar bears are coming to our country, so it's pretty cold. And so, if you don't understand what I'm saying, uh, Please throw a comment in the section to ask for clarification. I will be glad to help you. Uh, so, next thing before we start, um, I already know how works a cobble in real life. But if you don't, please uh, do your research because it's really important when recreating a realistic sound. So, due to the shape, to the material, and how sound waves reflect each other in the cobalt, I can assure you that we will be using FM synth synthesis. Okay, let's start immediately by creating a combinator because uh, maybe after the uh, Thor synthesizer you will try to add reverb, delay, distortion and all this stuff. And rename it Spios Cobel. And this is to keep everything clear. And um, the combinator is a really powerful tool when automating stuff. Then we will create a synthesizer of Tor. And I will make everything empty. So we start from nothing. Uh, I, will explain, I will explain to you what I'm doing after. But uh, in fact, what I will do is uh, I will... Uh, put as an oscillator one a noise oscillator because uh, when you listen to a cobalt there's a clickiness that uh, the FM uh, synthesis uh, do not reproduce and uh, I have more control after this on the clickiness so I think I will work with this okay uh, let's start with uh, an FM oscillator which is a wonderful oscillator from Thor and um, <sighs> still no sound Shh. okay and um, from now I will go a little bit in the dark because uh, this is um, because as you can see there's uh, a knob here which is the FM quantity that uh, can change everything so it's not because it sounds good or disgusting that it will not be okay after this uh, so first thing I will do is put it on octave 5 so it's already a little bit high uh, I will probably add another one after this but uh, but we will see okay so here we go um, I will because it's a complex sound uh, I will try to put lots of mod here so for example 9 go away from me Okay, this will be okay. It's really difficult to listen to uh, FM oscillators and to know what will be good to your sound. So I'm going to do it quick, and uh, if I'm lucky enough, I will have a decent cobalt. If not, it will sound like a horrible bell. And so I will add another FM pair. I'll put the mod here high too, higher than 16 because if not, it's not funny. Oops, sorry. Okie dokie. Nope. And with this, better. And I will put it on octave 6 
so what I've done here is I know by uh, with my experience that uh, when you add two oscillators uh, like this it's better if you have like a similar uh, number I don't know why but it does work Uh, now what I will do is use the FM uh, no. Woo! It's hurting my feeling Okay, right uh, Maybe using this Ah! So, uh, I don't know if you can hear It's, there's a horrible sound in this but also there's the tone of the cobalt in this so we quite good right now so what I will do now is uh, add the uh, noise oscillator I will put it on color mode so I can choose the tone of my uh, of my uh, uh, noise and then something that I will do and I I never use it except on uh, on uh, percussions is uh, I will put a the oscillator one into the filter one audio input and this will be scaled with uh, the mod um, the mod wheel so there's still a click and I can choose the intensity of my click and that is really 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 great so now that we're here um, there's one thing to know is when you have a fur with a bell sound um, it's always better to have like uh, some resonance in the filter because there's a lot of feedback into the bell so I will put here the, some resonance maybe 22 yeah and here to more or less the same amount and you can hear that uh, with uh, the resonance it's already uh, it can sell the disgusting song that we had in the beginning and that it's uh, closer to the song that we want to achieve now what I will do is uh, because when a drummer hit the cobalt or everything else uh, depending on how hard he hits the uh, cobalt won't have exactly the same sound and we will try to reproduce this with um, the velocity which is really great when reproducing how somebody hits on something else uh, it's really a great invention of technology so I will put it on 6, 4, 6 yes and I will um, modulate the FM quantity in the oscillator 2 because here the the FM is all the way up now when listening to a cobalt what do you hear first is a great attack followed by a sustain a little bit of sustain but between the attack and the sustain there's more like no time and after the sustain you have a little tail so we will try to reproduce it with first the um, filter envelope and then with the amp envelope if necessary uh, we'll see so what I will do is put this very high very high amount uh, I will decrease this and this and this like that first and I will choose a good frequency here Okay, and here same stuff but a little bit lower. And here I will add another uh, filter here. Nope. No resonance. It's better for Okay, and so as I've said, I will try to do this with the amp envelope now. So I will put the sustain more or less here, the attack all the way down to decrease a little bit this decay. And I will try to add some. 
some release okay and maybe some curse to give some stereo to the sound okay that's good um, why don't we listen to it into context so I've got here a new song that I've made that I'm be I am making uh, it's not finished To me, it sounds good. Uh, I've been very lucky on this one. Um, but if you want, you can uh, spend more time on this to improve the patch. Uh, yeah, it's more or less it. So I hope you've liked this video. I know it was a long one, but it was a complex sound to recreate. So. Um, if you want, you can uh, throw a comment in the section below to tell me what do you want me to improvise next. Uh, if you really liked it, uh, if you learned things, then just sub subscribe to my channel and don't forget to uh, check out my other networks that needs a lot of support from you, uh, which are SoundCloud and Facebook. All the links are below and I uh, hope to see you next week for a new episode of Improvising with Thor. Bye bye.